As everyone knows, before Harmony OS 4.2, when we developed Harmony OS apps, we were essentially developing Android apps, so it was compatible with the Android system. Previously, there was a very simple and classic command in Android, which is the ADB command, right? So, after upgrading to Harmony OS Next, our phone no longer supports ADB commands, nor does it support the installation and development of ABK. These are no longer possible. So we can only uh, use in, in the HDC command to operate the phone. And we can only install this, or that type of Harmony OS, native applications. That is our main focus today. This is just a simple verification for everyone. Our ADB is no longer usable, so we just switched to using HDC, for example, HDC shell. Ah, we have entered it. And once inside, the permissions are relatively high, allowing us to directly access the current directory. There is a restriction on permissions. However, if we enter some commands that are not so high in permissions, it is possible to access directories that are not so high in permissions as well. For example, this one. The temporary directory Sci is accessible. Well, we can also take a simple look at what it supports. These Linux commands. To put it simply, they shouldn't really be called Linux commands. They're just these kinds of commands that are somewhat compatible. The usage is similar to Linux, for example, creating directories. OK, then how do I create a file using echo? I want to see if it is supported. Test. Huh, it seems to be like this. Huh, echo is also supported. All right, then. Then the cat command, right? The cat command side, well, the commonly used ones are all supported. As for other things, well, those who are interested can research on their own. Of course, this command is not complete. It only includes a few simple ones. All right, we will stop sharing here.